This is the even berry stitch. You're going to start with a slip knot on your hook and your foundation chain is going to be an even number. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 12. I have my 12 chains. Now we're going to work um, a single crochet into the second chain from hook. Remember the slip knot on your hook does not count as a stitch. This is our first chain. This is our second. So we're going to go ahead and work a single crochet into that second chain from hook. And then we want to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So I will see you back when I complete that. I've completed my single crochets across. Now I'm going to turn my work and chain one. And I'm going to work a slip stitch into that first stitch. And now I'm going to work my berry stitch. So to do our berry stitch, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that stitch, yarn over, bring that through. We're going to yarn over again and go through the first loop only. And then we're going to yarn over again and go back into that same stitch. And we're going to yarn over again. And now we have five loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and go through all five loops. And that's our berry stitch. So we'll repeat that again. So we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to work a berry stitch into the next one. So remember it's a yarn over. Insert your hook into that stitch. Yarn over. Bring that through. Yarn over. And go through one loop only. Yarn over. Insert your hook into that same stitch. Yarn over. Bring that through. You have five loops on your hook yarn over and go through all five loops and that's your berry stitch and then you're going to slip stitch into the next one and you're going to repeat that to the end so you're going to do a berry slip stitch berry slip stitch and you should end with a slip stitch i will be back when i complete my row i've just completed row two now i'm going to turn my work and work row three you can see our cute little berries they're beautiful now for row three, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into that first stitch. So insert your hook and work your single crochet. If you're not sure where the stitches are, if you turn your work towards you, you'll be able to see the stitches, the little V's. That may help you. So we just did a single crochet. Now we're going to go ahead and work a slip stitch into the next stitch which is the top of our berry and we're going to repeat that all the way to the end so we're going to single crochet into the next and we're going to slip stitch into the next and single crochet into the next and you should end with a single crochet and I will see you back when I'm done I just completed row three and now we're just going to repeat. We're going to repeat row two and three until we get the desired height that we want. So you're going to turn your work, chain one, and slip stitch into that first stitch. And you're going to work your berry stitch into the next. So one more time, I'll show you the berry. Yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch. Yarn over, bring that through. Yarn over, go through one loop only. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch. Yarn over, bring that through. And then yarn over and go through all five loops. And then slip stitch into the next. And then you just repeat that, row two and three. And then you'll have a cute little berry stitch. Thanks for watching.